I'm Dr. Daniel Vickers, president of Discover Chiropractic Hawaii, and I'd like to talk with you today about dizziness, vertigo, and other balance disorders. Vertigo is classified in two types. One is called egocentric, also known as subjective vertigo. It's when you feel as though you're spinning in the room. The second type, geocentric or objective vertigo, is when you feel as though the world is spinning around you. That's your perception. You may feel lightheaded and think that you have vertigo. This is not necessarily vertigo, but it's definitely a problem that must be addressed. Meniere's syndrome is a decrease or loss in hearing with dizziness and a ringing or buzzing in the ears. The reason that ringing or buzzing happens is because the temporal lobe of the brain is overfiring, usually on the right side. People with dizziness or vertigo can have visual impairments. They may have poor depth perception or be light sensitive. They may have headaches. They may have a decrease in memory because again, the temporal lobe may be overfiring on the right and on the left side, which really has a lot to do with memory, especially the hippocampus, but on the left side, the left temporal lobe may be underfiring. So you have one brain lobe that's firing too much and one that's not firing enough. Your ears may feel full because the brain stem isn't working right. Again, you may hear that buzzing or ringing, you may have trouble with nausea, or you may vomit because the lower brain stem isn't firing the way it should. You may have coordination problems because the cerebellum isn't getting the, the fuel that it needs. So when you see your usual doctor and tell him you have dizziness or a balance disorder, he's probably going to tell you that you have an inner ear problem or BPPV, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. The reason you develop this inner ear problem is because you have rocks in your head. Seriously. There are little rocks in your inner ear that are called otoconia, calcium carbonate crystals that grow on these hair cells in your inner ear, which are called stereocilia and kinocilia. And these calcium carbonate crystals can fall off of these hair cells and they can rattle around in there and they can cause your symptoms. So what your MD will do for this is a type of head exercises. Now, dizziness can be caused by a lot of things. So I'm only talking about the dizziness that they're not sure why it's a problem, the BPPV. But dizziness can be caused by a stroke, it can be caused by a tumor, high blood pressure. So if you have any type of dizziness, make sure to get checked out by your medical doctor. You know, see a neurologist. But if it's not a stroke, when it's not a tumor, when it's not your hypertension, then it's time to come see me. See, those calcium carbonate crystals, frankly, it's a theory. They don't really know for sure, but there are other causes. So the medical doctor is normally going to treat with a medication called meclizine. Meclizine may work, but the people that I've seen have tried it and it didn't work. It's really meant to prevent nausea and vomiting, not to treat dizziness or balance disorders. They may do canal lith or otolith training where you do the head exercises. They may do a Dix Hall Pike test, which is rocking you back from a sitting position with your head turned to see if you get dizzy and whether your eyes bounce, which is called nystagmus. Then they'll have you roll onto your side and sit up, and that's called Epley's Maneuver. Frankly, I use it myself, as do a lot of medical doctors and physical therapists. But, as I said, there are many causes to dizziness and vertigo. One is the calcium carbonate crystals in the semicircular canals in your inner ear. Now, the other major cause of the problem is a problem with the cerebellum. The cerebellum controls the balance and coordinated movement, so when the cerebellum isn't firing, you can become dizzy. You have a right cerebellum and a left cerebellum, and there are three parts to it. The anterior lobe, the posterior lobe, and the flocculonodular lobe. Now, if the cerebellum is under firing, we'll, we want to increase that frequency of firing. Now, the reason you may have a problem with nausea or vomiting is when one part of the cerebellum is under firing, the other part is over firing, up into the brainstem. In the lower brainstem, you have the NTS, big fancy term, the nucleus tractus solitarius. And out of that NTS comes the vagus nerve, and that goes down into the guts. So if the NTS is being overstimulated, it can cause nausea or vomiting. Now, we don't get that a lot in the office, but can you see now how that can happen neurologically? So, what do I do as a chiropractor to take care of people with dizziness or balance disorders? Well, for one thing, we're going to use oxygen. Oxygen is fuel for your brain and nervous system. Your brain needs two things to survive, fuel and activation. Fuel comes in the form of oxygen and glucose. You get the glucose from the food you eat, but as we age, our ability to utilize oxygen decreases. Another big fancy term, it's called decreased mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation. Guess what?
The cerebellum is the most oxygen dependent area of the body. So we use an oxygen, an oxygen concentrator with our patients. And when we do that, we see almost immediate changes in their dizziness and vertigo. In many cases, not in all, but in many. Why? Because again, the cerebellum is the most oxygen dependent area of the body. It's great. We get oxygen into your system, you start feeling better already. We may also do unilateral adjusting. Everybody's heard that the right brain controls the left side of the body and the left brain controls the right side of the body. So a patient presents with, say, decreased left brain firing. The right cerebellum fires over into the left side of the brain, so we only want to adjust them on the right side. Often, just with oxygen and unilateral adjusting on the appropriate side, dizziness and vertigo clears up quickly, if not immediately. We may do a caloric treatment. You may have had this. A cold caloric treatment is used to diagnose dizziness or vertigo in many cases. We use warm caloric as a therapy. Warm water into the ear liquefies the endolymph in your inner ear and fires the vestibular nerve into your cerebellum. We may have you do eye exercises. They help fire the brain, the occipital lobe, the brain stem, but most importantly, it fires that cerebellum. For instance, the right cerebellum controls eye movements up to the right, down to the left, and over to the left. So we may use various eye movements. And of course, the left cerebellum is just the opposite. We may use auditory stimulation, listening to sounds in the ear, up through the brain stem and into the temporal lobe. We may use visual stimulation, looking at a checkerboard pattern, though we probably wouldn't use that right away on a severely dizzy or vertiginous patient. We may use visual imagery, like the patient I told you about in the re included report, uh, Rose. I had her imagine floating up and to one side, and it worked like magic. How does this work? It's a feedback mechanism to the brain. Normally, the brain works on a feed-forward mechanism, meaning the cerebellum fires first into the brain. Well, in a feedback mechanism, the brain fires first because the brain says, hey, you can't float. So the brain fires, then the cerebellum fires. So visual imagery works. Now, You'll see a lot of things on the internet that claim, you know, if you take this vitamin or use this potion or lotion, it'll cure your dizziness. I've been in practice for over 11 years now, and I've never found a vitamin, pill, or potion, or lotion that cures dizziness. There is some evidence that niacin, which is vitamin B3, does help some people, but when you take a B vitamin, you should be taking a B complex, all the B vitamins together. And I do use many supplements in my practice, but they're specially selected to address a specific situation, and vitamins alone aren't going to help your dizziness. You need to have the neurological treatments as I've outlined here. If you have a dizziness or vertigo problem, please call my office today at 873-9221 and set up an appointment for a consultation to find out how we can help you with your dizziness or vertigo problem. Folks, I hope you've gotten a lot out of this free video, but remember, it's not just the inner ear. It can also be the cerebellum. I find that a lot of medical doctors focus on the semicircular canals in the inner ear and they just don't address the cerebellum. So will you help me help others and you? Who do you know who suffers from dizziness or vertigo, neck pain, back pain, fibromyalgia, sciatica? If you have family or friends who are suffering, tell them about our office, give them our phone number. And if it's you, please call us today and schedule your appointment for a consultation. I'm Dr. Daniel Vickers. Thank you for watching. I look forward to helping you. Aloha.